part of Don Bosco Hospital. We are contributing a lot to the lives of the people around here. From Don Bosco, we are helping them to be people who can stand on their own feet and live their lives with courage and enthusiasm and self-confidence. The poor youth in the villages often believe that they are not able to come out of their poor living situations, but along with breads, we provide them skill training, we provide them education and also help them get a job. The aim of the Stekanigel Institute is to empower the youth around hospital. Primarily, this is a vocational skill training center. We have different trades like carpentry, welding, computer, where which we give in detail the different aspects of business process outsourcing and other courses like electrical and uh, tailoring and fashion design. One problem that we come across is that the, the villages that are really poor are very far away and therefore we need to find a way of helping them to come and stay here with us so that they get trained and therefore we are running a hostel for the youth. And one thing that we make sure is that we do not give just training in skill alone, but then we give training in their holistic development for them to grow in their self-confidence, for them to find out their hidden talents within them. We are giving more or less an integral training, in the aspects of coping with the life situations, then the skill training, and overall, a life which is enriched. And later on, they are in turn able to inspire other poor youths to go for training, skill development and thus gain a better lifestyle for themselves. One of the most important activities that are going on here is the self-help groups. Thousands of poor village women who were keeping themselves to be living in their kitchen, living in their backyard. Through self-help groups, they have grown up to be entrepreneurs. One of the best examples that comes into my mind is about SSG members who were educated enough but then they were not making use of the education that they have received. So they have begun tuition centers. Starting early, I did do Ibrahim Club. Dina Kalita Kalita, Maklu Jastiadu, Place Chikadai. In Madadu Arthaglila. Now Jotega said, but to Sangat in the loan take do now we shall tell a hakondi devi. If Sumaru, Nalo Jena Maklavarta, Tumba Kushia. We have nearly two hundred and sixty groups, consists of fifteen to twenty members each. Nearly four thousand women are involved in various activities. They plan, they execute with the collaboration with our community organizers and the president. They have now come forward after receiving help through Don Bosco to help others from their own contribution. We were able to organize a program by which every family in this nomadic begging village were able to be provided with provision items, with rice and with oil for cooking and with notebooks and geometry boxes for the children. And this was a kind of big boost for these SSG groups that they said we have grown enough to support other local people and there are changes that are happening among these communities. In our work experience here, 
As we go around, we see that there are thousands of kids who are outside school. There are children who work in workshops as a way of support for the families. In the year 2005, we have uh, taken the project from the government called NCLP, National Child Labor Program. We have helped almost 1,500 child laborers recruited from the various villages where our social community organizers are working. We directly go to the place and rescue the children from these areas. Along with the child, we decide what the child wants to do, where the child wants to live, where the child wants to live in the government home, or the child wants to get back to Don Bosco and stay with us. Those children who live with us in Don Bosco, we give them one year of schooling. <laughs> After one year, as much as possible, if the families can support these children, then we also send the parents through a kind of family counseling. But then if the family situation is still hazardous, if we send them back, we are afraid that probably they will be again dropouts. Then we try to keep them with us and therefore we have around 50 children who do the regular schooling from here. The school going children hostel as well as the center for rural girls are run in collaboration with Brex. We reach out to thousands of students to provide educational support through the establishment of child right clubs and also the eco clubs in the schools. Through these eco clubs, we help and encourage children to protect nature. And while creating child right clubs, we help the children to learn about their own rights, especially in terms of education, safety and security. We have began uh, this project called Leprosy Colony in collaboration with Prince. We have 30 houses, 30 families can stay there who are affected by leprosy. Nani Lewasa Marakati, you are a recycler. Sumi, Yamana, Marti, Devi, our family. We usually help out like electricity, water, and we also motivate them to cultivate the land we have and to ask them to keep the areas clean and so on. Now we live in Tuata Marti. We have to take care of the people. We have to take care of the people. We have to take care of the people. Don Bosco Hospital collaborates with Brett for most of our important programs that we are running here. And much more can be done when it is done hand in hand with other NGOs, other agencies, so we need to put our hands together and we can achieve much more.